Alright, so this is Kendrick Lamar speaking on the whole Macklemore texting situation. A little bit weird. About the fact that after the Grammys, Macklemore posted your text message to him. Mm -hmm. And we talked to Macklemore the next day and we knew his heart was sincere. Did you ever feel any way about him posting the text message or anything like that? Yeah, I think it was uncalled for to be 100 with you. Um, mm -hmm. When he sent it to me, I was like, okay. You know, I could see him feeling that type of way because he's a good dude. But um, I think for for confirmation from the world, you know, he probably felt like he had to put it out there, which he didn't need to do. He didn't need to do, but they don't take nothing away from him anyway because I know where his heart is at. He cool. He a, he a cool dude, but, you know, sometimes the car falls like that when you... Well, I, and I think he it's felt I, bad, man. He, he, First of all, I got to agree with Kendrick Lamar. I need hip-hop at all. Like, Macklemore... Man, he was considered corny. He's definitely a pop rapper. But hey, I also kind of respect Macklemore. Because I was in grade 7 at the time, and the heist actually kind of slapped. I grew up in a mostly white city, so... I think the heist slapped. But compared to Good Kid Mad City, losing in the Grammys... Man. No. Just, no. No. Like, say for an example, The Heist was a decent project. It had some bangers, like Can't Hold Us, Same Love, um, uh, I can't really remember any of the other songs, because it just wasn't a great project. But compared to Kendrick Lamar, Good Kid Mad City, in my opinion, his greatest hip-hop album of all time. It just had a bit of a street element in it, but kind of like a different perspective, like Kendrick Lamar talking about it. I can't even really remember the whole story of the heist. And I'm sure I listened to a lot of those big singles so many times, like even like Thrift Shop, Can't Hold Us, Sam Love, they're all over the radio and YouTube. But Good Kid Mad City came out with the first single being Swimming Pools, Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe. Man, those songs, man, classics, classic. The intro track, Shrain, man, just him talking about in the back of the minivan, just rapping like that, man, man, that was just fire. Backseat freestyle, one of my favorite freestyles of all time. Or like, I know it's not really a freestyle, but in the whole concept story thing of the project, that was a freestyle. I'm saying it was a freestyle. Money trees. I think it's the top 10 favorite rap song of all time. Like, J-Rock absolutely destroyed that shit. Just the whole hook of it. Money Trees is the perfect place for shit. Like, I don't want to get copyrighted, but man. Money Trees is fire. Poetic Justice with Drake. Bringing out a young Jersey Drake is absolutely killing them. Good Kiddo's Fire. The song of Mad City. Of Pyrus and Cribs. All got along. You know, that song is just a classic. It's a fire project. Sing about me dying of thirst. Maybe one of the best hip hop songs of all time, so along with Money Trees. Bring out Dr. Dre, Recipe, Black Boy Fly, all of those songs. But, anyways, I think it was just super corny of Macklemore to be like, yo, you should have won the Grammy and post it on social media. Like, honestly, there was no need to put it on social media. You just look like a fucking fool, man. You're corny, man. You're looking like a fool. But anyways, pretty much my opinion on it. I think Michael Moore did something very, very corny on the whole situation. And Good Kid Mad City was about 10 miles times 20. Better than the heist. And the heist was a decent project. Pretty good. Had some hit pop singles. But yeah. Let me know what you guys think.